Hey, it's Rob. And I'm Susie. And here we are. This is the year in review for Mountain Talk. And it's on both Celebrate and Talk of the Town. So, uh, you know, hey, this is the town of Pine Top Lakeside. Rob, what I thought we should do is kind of do a recap of everything we've done this year. And we've done a lot. The town of Pine Top Lakeside has not slept at all this year. Has not. You are correct. (laughs) We always have our our annual events. The Easter Family Fun was out at Woodland Lake Park, and it was a huge success. And we were getting more vendors to come and enjoy with us. I mean, the face painting is always the big draw. We need like three more face painters, I'll tell you what. That that area was just more amenable to it, and the the maze was phenomenal, the little uh, scavenger hunt maze kind of thing worked out well. The families never left. They made it a picnic day. We had food vendors, so that was a great one to start off the year with. And then, of course, our annual balloon festival just keeps getting bigger and better every year. Now, I want to just bring this up, that we're going to start, it's always been the last of June. Right. It's going to be the week before the last of June. And that's because (laughs) of where the 4th of July falls this coming year in 2024. So so it's just offset. So just, yeah, so tw- like, 21st through the 23rd. That's right. You got it. Uh, then we did the really fun color fun run. We've done this for a couple of years now. So we've got it kind of under our belt. We know what we're doing. And again, the families come out by the hundreds and we've got the businesses to throw the paint. So back up a little bit. I want, I want you to remember also, so as I don't see it on your list, we had movies and music in the park. In the park. So three of those. So and that's what you're here for. Yeah. And we've got three <laughs> of those coming up here for the next year, they're going to be pretty cool themes. So pay attention for those. And that's, like I said, it's music and movies right right there, Jack Barker. We may move the location. Just pay attention to what's going on. So okay. we'll let you know. All right. So, uh, but the, the color fun run, if you're a business here in Pine Top Lakeside, we really want you to pay attention to what we're sending out the talk yeah. of the town, because you can be involved in, uh, I'll just throw one out right now. Frank Smith, uh, they did several events with us this year mm-hmm. and they loved it. Yes, and, they did. and that's how you get your name out there. Come in and help us and participate in what we do for the town. You got it. Uh, fall festival parade and the car show is always, you know, we're talking 30 some years here on this deal. It we had a beautiful year this year. We didn't have any rain. It was fun. Yeah. And the crowds on the, the uh, at our parade, well, it was really fun to see them all out there and having fun. And again, the businesses were all out in full force. Our Autumn Festival was uh, made it real... It was the a, inaugural Autumn Festival. We replaced it. We got, we got, don't do the trunk or treat thing. No. But I think kids got, had more fun, had more interaction. You know, we had an idea that it would work well, but man, did it actually work well. Well, again, so. here comes those businesses. We yeah. had them create games and the kids won prizes and or candy at all the booths and there was fun games and dart throwing and stuff and then we had the Halloween contest which you were in charge of that Rob and I don't know how you guys you did it by clapping but those kids were so adorable. It was a lot of fun. It was and then of course we had the chili cook off. Yep. And the um, the dessert cook off too. So yeah, so it might seem like it was spread out, but I got to tell you, we had the most votes for the chili cook off this year than we've ever had before. Yeah, and there were some surprises in there. there and sure were. I'm going to say this another time: the businesses came out with their chili. There it is. So we had a new winner this year, so that was good. Yeah. Okay, so now we kind of we're wrapping it up on that part of the year, the first part. Uh, the mayor's tree lighting and the gingerbread houses over at uh, Woodland at the um, what's it called the bridge. Yep. And then we had the holiday lights contest, which yes. we just finished that up as well. But the mirror's tree lighting this year, we almost had snow. It snowed right it after. It snowed right afterwards, yeah. And it was like the only snow we've seen so far this year, this season. Yeah. But you guys put new lights on our tree over yeah. there by the library. You like that tree? Yes. And it makes, it changes colors. It does fun stuff. Tell us what that is. Well, it spins. It's it's all controlled via the internet. So it turns on, it turns off on its own times. It sets its little shows and things like that. Those lights are going to stay on past Christmas. Christmas. So you're actually going to think, see things happen there throughout the year. Well, so, it hey, looks fabulous. Tuned. And whenever people are coming up or driving down the 260, they see that. And it's just, it looks beautiful. As do our, our holiday lights contest. Everybody, all the businesses up here, we give away four sets of lights every year. So they've got quite of a collection going yeah, on hopefully. right now. Yeah. Free lights. And uh, they've really decorated well. So I like that part of it. Uh, Sirens and Sleigh Bells is the old AKA Shop of the Cop. And they have had the best year ever, Rob. The best. They said it was almost 200 people. 
200 kids. And thanks to Toys for Tots, the Marines, yes. they brought in truckloads of toys for these kids as well. Pretty awesome. We got lots of money. We got lots of toys. And we made a lot of families very, very happy with the sirens and sleigh bells. Yeah. Our Veterans Memorial is right here at our town, right in, in our parking lot out front. Yep. And it's a beautiful memorial area. We had nine events there. And we just recently had the Reese Across America in December. But you need to stop by, put your hand over your heart and say the Pledge of Allegiance with us. It's just, it's a very, very moving memorial. And I think you'd all be blessed if you stopped by. We tell people about when it's going to happen, but nine of them. Yeah. And our local VFW loves the fact that the town of Pine Top Lakeside literally shows up for every event that they have there. Yes. So it's pretty fun. Yes. John Beeler and the VFW 2364 there you go. Uh, support them. Pine Top Library. Speaking Pine Top of, Lakeside. Uh, yeah, Don't Pine forget Lakeside. They'll get upset. You know, okay. it's, it's the whole town. Oh, you know what? There's something coming up here next year. Something about that town. I think Pine it's Top uh, maybe an anniversary, like 40 years or something. But anyways, oh, keep going. Oh, that's right. 84. Mm. That's right. 80. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, the Pine Top Lakeside Library, Betsy and her crew has done a tremendous job over there. Every week, every day, all day long, there is some sort of a kids uh, a program going on. They're so creative and it's very, very well attended. So you need to get, they, they make a 30-day calendar. You need to stop by and get one because who knows what they're going to do in January, February, March, but they have it so decorated up beautifully in there. The kids love it. Uh, the people that work at the library, they're happy people because they get to enjoy the happy people that come in there. A shout out to the Pine Top Lakeside Library. And not too far away from that is the new police department. Yeah, it's rolling right along. It is. We've got windows. They've ordered the furniture. And sometime this spring, the new police department is going to be open for business. Very cool. I don't really want a lot of you to go in the inside of it and see it. But <laughs> for reasons. I but drive by and wave. Yeah, yeah drive, just drive by and wave. But it's in the same location. It's right there by the uh, Lakeside Post Office. And then right there next to the new fire or the new police department, there's going to be the pickleball at the old gym. Yes. Now, there's a group that plays pickleball in there already, but it's never been open to the public. It is open to the public starting in January. They're going to be open. There is a fee because they're going to take the money for the from the fees and they're going to help clean it up and clean make it, it up, a maintain it, and make it even better pickleball. So after the first part of January, they said they're going to be open uh, between like six and two, eight and two. Stop by there or go to their website, lakesidepickleball.org. And finally, what I have have to say is the free Christmas tree drop-off is happening at our collection center. Awesome. Down on Woodland Road. <clears throat> it's free. Bring your tree. Take the tinsel off, whatever you've got on there. People don't really tinsel anymore like we did when I was young. And uh, bring your cardboard boxes, smash them down, put them all in a 50-gallon bag, and it's $2. So $2. Huh? You don't have to Pretty worry awesome. about all the boxes. You can you can take them down there and give them $2, and they'll take them away. Awesome. Very cool. So, hey, pay, pay attention to what's going on here. Make sure you subscribe and follow us. 2024 looks to be very good. Cool. Already told you about the trees going to be doing things in 2024. Right. We've got a celebration that's coming up in 2024 and some new changes around here as well. So, uh, Am I still going to be here? I think so, okay. as far as I know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, the sign, the electronic sign yes. out in front of us, yep. make sure you kind of take the time and look at that. You've got plenty of time coming in either directions to see what's going on because it's hard to get everything out. And people say, well, I didn't know about that. Look at our electronic sign. Also, pinetoplakesideaz.gov. Scroll down a little bit. It has all the events on there all the time. So or stop by and see us because hey. I'm Susie and I'm at the front desk. Very cool. So once again, I'm Rob. And I'm Susie. And uh, everybody go have some fun. 